Back in the day, one of the most infamous prank channels on YouTube was Vitaly. He was a millionaire YouTuber who was most well known for his social experiments, like the Miami zombie prank where he ran around Miami pretending to be on bath salts, or the hood pranks he used to do, or most famously the gold digger pranks where he would basically pay like an attractive actress to, you know, come up to him and be like, you know, disinterested in going on a date with him. And then he would walk over to a Lamborghini and then they would be like, oh my God, you're so hot, I like your car. And then he'd be like, what, you only like me because I have nice car? That's disgusting. You're a, you're a you are a whole black black I spit on you black that's disgusting everything's disgusting about you I don't like you and you know that his channel reached over 10 million subscribers he was doing collaborations with other huge prank channels like Roman Atwood or FoosyTube he was at the absolute top of his game or at the top of like the YouTube game in general he was one of the most famous YouTubers in 2017 and then he went a little crazy this started off with the bizarre personal confrontations with pranksters, like when he found Joey Salads at the gym and then freaked out at him. What's good? What's up? Why you gotta talk all this shit? What do you mean? All the videos you've made talking shit about the my one, mom. The one video I made a year ago? Yeah. Now I catch you finally in person. What's up? What are you gonna it's say? It's YouTube beef. I don't get what the big deal you, is. YouTube beef, huh? I'm in front of you right now. What you gonna do about it? You gonna talk shit about weird, my mom? I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, well, it I finally actually... happened. I was waiting for this moment to happen. Alright, well. No, no, don't. Oh, well, you can talk Online, now I met you in person. You're gonna talk shit about my mom. Have I ever spoken anything bad about your mom? No. Exactly. It's so why YouTube would you talk? Beef, it's fun. You YouTube it's beef. Jokes. No, it's not jokes. I'm here in front of you. What you gonna say about it? I gotta say, it's just stupid YouTube beef in the yeah, past. Yeah, stupid. It's yeah, jokes. exactly. Because you're gonna confront everybody who has something bad to say about you on the. Oh, internet. if I see him in person, of course I will. Of All course right. I will. Well, then I, I respect that. That you'll yeah. do that. Yeah. You. Dude, I. Not nah, because yeah, and your boy's not so gonna petty. help you. I I'm serious. I'll beat you ass with my right hand while I'm filming with my left. Right. It's not petty. You disrespected my mother and you don't disrespect it. Well, Maybe I, in this I, country listen, you can, not in Russia. I, I apologize that I disrespected your mother. I didn't mean it to be disrespectful. I thought I was just happy. You said you wanted my mom again. panties. Listen, right, so. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I truly am sorry if it hurts you and I'll, I'll like to shake your hand because I'm sorry. I'm good, bro. But Keep it was working just a out. Joke. And his increasingly erratic behavior blurred the lines between the persona he played online to millions and his personal life, and that was an increasingly degenerating line. Uh, and it became pretty obvious that this guy was kind of a psycho behind the scenes for a little while. Come on, who are you fighting next, you ass Come on! I'm right here! I'm right here! What was the difference tonight in fighting His upload schedule, if you could even call it a schedule, had also become very sporadic. And this would all culminate in 2020 when something inside of him snapped. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know what led to this. It seems to be a contribution of like too much fame and money making his ego super inflated. And then he got into some heavy drug use apparently. But basically he was at his house one morning and he got arrested for beating up a random jogger while high. The attack was unprovoked when Vitaly suddenly jumped in front of the jogger with his arms open as if to grab her. According to the police, he then tackled her to the ground straddled her and punched her with closed fists in the face and chest numerous times. The police report said the attack left the woman with a two inch laceration above her right eye that required stitches. Vitaly would then be apprehended by the cops near his home where he was still high. And uh, it's clear that this guy was just like cracked out of his out of his goddamn mind. He was super effed up. Random jogger female, he came to her, got to give her a hug. She refused and then he started punching. Why do you keep coughing? Because I'm a mushroom. Because you're what? I'm a mushroom. A mushroom? That makes you cough? Oh, I, I didn't know that was a side effect. Oh my gosh, Come here. I lost everything. Lost you didn't lose everything. Here, let me see. Put your hands here. Check it out, see? I'm gonna put them in the front. Do you know me? Do I know you? Oh, no. No, do you know me? I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna leave oh, this open. This is <laughs> uh, here. Bro, I'm not running. You don't need it, bro. Alright. Yeah, but I want to talk to you. That's do you fine. Have, do you have time for me? Yes, if you step in there. Yes, yes, I got you. Let me go get the keys so I can turn this van off. Alright. Where are you going? I got to get the keys so I can turn the van off. What? The keys so I can turn... For what? The van. What van? The, the one you're in. What? What you're in. Where are you going? I'm going to turn it on so you get air. Boy, this is fine. 
Now, Vitaly managed to avoid prison time for his actions, but that didn't mean that his life wasn't changed forever by the incident. It definitely had a lot of negative implications for him in the short term and in the long term, and ever since then, he hasn't really had the same success that he used to have on YouTube. It seemed like for a while, he was trying to restart his YouTube career and get back on track. He was off drugs, he was not being crazy or violent, and he just wanted to make YouTube videos. He started off with a classic Russian hitman video, but instead of being a convincing hitman, he was just like acting strange in public. Oh, I scared myself. How are you? Good. Oh, yo, 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 my stomach. How are you? Good. My name is Dim my, my name is Dimitri. I came here back from the future to save you. Could you give me a favor? No, no, freaking later. Uh, me go inside here to push me. They want to pew, 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 kill me. Can I go inside? You push me one block, please. Okay. Please. Uh, it's, good. it's okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay? <laughs> I clean, I clean, I clean, I clean. No, 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 I clean. But that video only got 90,000 views. This was not enough for him. He needed more. He needed to be famous. So he decided to take the route a lot of people have been taking lately, which is streaming on kick. Specifically, IRL streaming. People like Jack Doherty. What? <laughs> Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Neon, who recently had to apologize to Dana White and Trump. I want to sincerely apologize. Um, I didn't mean anything I said, and um, it should have never come out of my mouth in the first place, and I, I take ownership. That was the first time I, it was like 3 a.m., I literally went down at Red Rock, and I, um, he called me down, and I face-to-face -face apologized to him like a man, and it was really good, and he accepted it, and, um... Yeah, that was the first time I've ever had to apologize to someone in person, and it, it made me realize that, you know, I'm not this big f***ing tough guy, I'm a loser, and I gotta realize it, you know? Um, and he didn't have to accept my apology or whatever, he could've just said f*** me to my face and whatever. And of course, Ice Poseidon have all been doing IRL streaming a lot lately. Obviously, Ice Poseidon has been doing it way before them, but Jack Doherty and Neon and Sneeko and whoever else are all kind of just hopping on the degenerate content trend. And now Vitaly wants to capture some of that magic, so he's been streaming on kick to around a thousand people at a time. And he's just being, like, strange and awkward in public, really, as much as he possibly can. One of the first bits he did was walking around on all fours, pretending to be a dog around random people. No. No, no. <laughs> no? Go. Go <laughs> I mean, this was a pretty funny bit, even if it is cringe to see like a 35 year old man doing this. It's, it's pretty funny, if only because he looks like a total spurg. But this is not the end of the content. He's really committed to the bit of being as weird and annoying as possible so that he can make content. He's also been acting zesty in public, uh, mimicking FoosyTube, asking random men and women if he can eat their ass got, you know, the reaction you would expect, really, from everyone. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Oh. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Would you mind if I eat your booty? Uh, I'm sorry. I, let's... I, sorry, this isn't uh, a, 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 a plausible conversation. It's not? No, I'm sorry. Why? You're wearing a pink shirt, so I thought it's like, no, it's like welcome to Miami. No, I, I guess I should be more careful. I'm not too aware of the symbol. Well, this is Miami. Be careful, because you're going to have to sleep with one eye open tonight. <laughs> that's not a plausible conversation we can have right now. Honestly, that's a weirder response than what Vitaly said. Why would you say plausible conversation? Just say no, you freak. And then Vitaly is like, it's just a prank, bro. Haha, <laughs> you're on camera. It's all a prank, bro. So this clip made its way around Twitter and TikTok, but this is not the only clip he's, he's done. He's been streaming for hours at a time. I think he's done five or six streams as of the time I'm recording this video, and uh, apparently he wants to just keep going every day with daily streams until the end of the month. He walked around trying to find other targets to use for content in this stream as well. Like, he found one guy who was, like, sitting down just chilling, having a drink, and he told him not to drink and to be sober, and uh, Vitaly also was sure to tell him that he was a local booty eater and enthusiast, because, you know, obviously, why wouldn't he? It's the funniest thing you can possibly say that you eat at, right? No alcohol. Be sober. Sober. Okay. Sober. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? A, a local booty eater. Booty eater? Yes. Booty eater? Like, ah, oh, when you eat ass. <laughs> the guy is thinking, can I get it for this kid? Yeah, I like it. Just chill. Just vibe. Just vibe. We're just warming up. 
<laughs> people like, uh, 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 uh. that's how I warm up, guys. I got to warm up. I'm sorry, bro. Get that out of here, bro. I don't know. Chat, what should I do? Give me some pickup lines. Can I eat your booty? He walks around the beach a little bit more and eventually finds an African-American queen on the beach. And the only reason I point out that she's African-American is because uh, he's very specific about the fact that she is black. And I quote, he says he's going to eat the black out of her. I swear to God, I'm tired of this shit, dude. I'm gonna lick the black out of her. Whatever that means. I've never heard this kind of riz before, honestly. Uh, this is completely unknown to me, but Vitaly's laying down the law. I mean, certainly he's a guy who gets some. You know, he used to get some. He's gonna get some. He is getting some. And uh, apparently this is the way to address um, women. So yeah, there you go. He also offers to uh, to eat her, her hole out to her face. <laughs> bro, bro, this guy is crazy. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, I have a question. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a local booty eater. I just wondering, you have a nice, very chocolatey booty. I'm wondering if I can eat it. <laughs> no? Generous. Huh? Offer. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, you don't do it, right? So someone's gotta do it. A lot of the stream is pretty boring, honestly. He seems pretty nervous during it. He's like getting back into streaming, I guess. There's a few wild moments here and there, like what I just showed. But I feel like Vitaly would be better off just making prank videos. He was better at that than whatever this is. And uh, honestly, the prank videos are less sort of, you know, weird and confrontational and awkward too. Um, like the one where he was, you know, the Russian hitman and was like making weird noises and pretending to fart. That was, you know, definitely way funnier than this. But the booty eating allegations are real with Vitaly. He's trying to get in there as much as possible. He's trying to, uh... Jesus, this, I, what is wrong with me? But there were a ton of other moments that blew up as well and got him a bunch of attention. For example, he walked around pretending to be some kind of public servant, asking people if they had tickets. I'm gonna have to give you a ticket for your, one of your lights is off. Look, it's puppy. Uh-huh. I'm yeah. serious. It's a renting bike. I know, it's a renting bike, but can we fix it? Where are you from? From Germany. From Germany, everyone's from Germany. Is there, what, what happened in Germany? Why is everybody down here? Because um, is better here. Do you have $10 or we can send the 350 euros to Germany. <laughs> can, can I see your license and registration? <laughs> Papi. All right, AI knows your name. I scanned you. He pretended to steal a bike from someone before giving it back. I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's also been putting out a lot of clips pretending to be as crazy as Fousey was when he was IRL streaming just a few months ago, acting bipolar and talking about Drake like Fousey often does, just being manic as hell. Guys, I just spent 76 days in there and I got it up my ass more than you know. It was absolutely f***ing insane. I kind of want to go back. I'm not going to lie. I liked it there. What is going on? Are we live? Are we live? 900 people in here right now, okay? Damn! Drake! Drake! I can hear him. He's somewhere around here. It was pretty funny, honestly. He did a pretty good Fousey impression. Now, a lot of you guys may not remember this, but Fousey and Vitaly actually have a lot of history together. They got famous on YouTube at the same time from 2013 to 2017, and were doing a ton of content together. You know, they were doing videos together. Like when Vitaly ran on the field at the 2014 World Cup, and, you know, he just looked kind of retarded, but it got 16 million views. Guess who was filming? Unfortunately, this friendship didn't last very long. Pretty soon, he and Fousey were at odds, exposing each other on video. FouseyTube and Vitaly would have a major public fallout during 2018. A year when they both seemed to be keen on burning bridges with former friends, colleagues, and even fans. The year prior, Vitaly had made a now-deleted video calling out fellow prank channels for faking videos, explicitly mentioning FouseyTube, Prank Invasion, and Joey Salads. But of course, this is ironic given the fact that Vitaly definitely faked some pranks back in the day. In my opinion. All these other YouTube pranksters that you see, they're all fake. And let me tell you a little bit about these bitches. Number one, FouseyTube. FouseyTube, you're the biggest on YouTube, you're a crybaby, you had guts to say that 99% pranks are fake, yeah, because 1% real is me, you're the fake one, A to the Z, even your vlogs are fake, we went to Brazil, I tried to vlog, you're like, Vitaly, put the camera down, we're gonna get killed, I went out with girls every night, and friends partying, what did you do, you sat in your room, jerking off, I asked you why, because you said it's too dangerous, you're the biggest ever, don't act tough in front of guys like this going out why did you talk to my girlfriend why did you talk to my girlfriend no that's not you you don't have balls to do anything in this life go back to making middle eastern videos it suits you better when we met at the gym you said i inspired you to do these pranks and you faked everything that's pff, disgusting 
everything's disgusting about you. I don't like you, and you know that. Fight of the Living Dead, a survival show on YouTube. You died second. What did you do? You cried to the director. I'm the biggest one here. I should win. Yeah, you're the biggest. So guess what? The director gave you another opportunity to, to bring you back to life. Oh, you want an award with best entertainer of the year? That's like me winning an award for my bang bus performance. You're f***ing garbage. They gave you that award so you don't commit suicide. And you know what? Don't make me expose your addiction. Keep your mouth shut. The brutal call out of creators who seemingly wronged Vitaly over the years created a very clear divide in the community and it spurred a lot of creators to kind of get out, you know, while it was still good. Uh, like Roman Atwood, he just basically stopped doing prank stuff at all. But Vitaly wanted more and more controversy. He wanted to expose everyone and Fousey was not afraid to fire back. He loved the drama. There are countless stories from all of your friends that you knew who, by the way, when you were at your peak on YouTube, I was the friend who never asked to collab with you, never did a main channel video with you, and told you, Vitaly, be careful, because if you didn't have your views, none of these people would be friends with you. And look what happened. Throughout the years, people stopped f***ing with you. They stopped caring because they never gave a sh about you. They knew you were a very toxic person to be around, but they put up with you because being around you made their numbers go up. I sat on the information I've had on you for years because I actually know that what I say has an impact and can affect somebody. So I called him just to make sure that I wasn't crazy and this is what he said. So remember Vitaly? Yeah. Remember how, you know, I met you, like he introduced me to you, like I got your information from him? Uh -huh. So he came out, right? And he was like, how are you, he was like, how are you gonna call me on steroids when I got the, my dealer's number from you, but I got your number from him? Right, that's true. And then you said, so what? I fake pranks? I already admitted it. So Fussy Two just tried to expose me. Okay, yeah, I fake pranks. Everybody knows that. I already admitted it. But in the video where you called me out out of nowhere when me and you were friends and saw each other in the gym a week before, this is what you said. You had guts to say that 99% pranks are fake. Yeah, because 1% real is me. And then you talk about me talking about wanting to sh myself because of my depression. You literally wanted to yourself because you were so uh, depressed. I'm not even gonna get into that because I know your responses to everything that I'm gonna say in an eloquent manner are gonna put you down and anything you say, you're gonna just put yourself down even deeper. I won the two biggest award at the streamies two years in a row. You know what you did at the streamies? Nobody expected to see me here, but what about my soft dick, huh? Oh, you think I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. Batch, do you even host? Where are you? Garbage. Love you, bro. I feel like Taylor Swift. <laughs> you ran the stage, you weren't even invited to the event, pulled your pants down, and embarrassed yourself, bro. The bulk of Fousey's accusation is that Vitaly took steroids, faked his pranks, and had assaulted a uh, lady of the night during their time in Brazil, probably during the 2014 FIFA World Cup final. Now, I'm not sure if that was real. It was never really proven as far as I've seen, but, you know, that's just what was being said around, around the block back then. All of a sudden, at the door, in the middle of the night, bang, 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 bang. I remember this vividly. I go, I open the door. You are blacked out drunk, don't even know where you are. You walk past me and you're grabbing a hand on her wrist and you're laughing and you take her into the room. You lock the door and I went into my room and let you do your business. Under 10 minutes of her being in your room, all of a sudden at my door, knocking screaming, crying. I open the door. This poor woman barges into my room holding her clothes, covering herself, and trying to speak to me in English saying, he's hurting me. He's hurting me. Holding her wrist where there were marks from how tight you were holding her. Next thing I know, Vitaly, butt ass naked with a condom hanging off of himself, turns the corner, comes to me, spit flying out of his mouth, saying, this won't let me put it in her ass. She's a she's a whore. Give me my money back. This won't let me her. You scream that in my face. I was shaking. I turn around, she's crying, saying, help me, help me. As I turn around to you, you're recording it for your uncensored Vitaly, and you're screaming, ha ha ha, this won't let me 
you're saying foul thing. I go up to you to try to calm you down. You pushed me onto the bed. You pushed me onto the bed and I flew onto the bed and just sat there in disbelief as to what was going on. I stood up, I went, I shut the door out on you and I tried to calm her down. She wanted to go tell whoever was protecting her outside where we were, I calmed her down. And I did the only thing I could at that time. You paid her 300 and whatever the increments were in Brazil. I didn't know that it was different, so I went to my desk, pulled out 300 US dollars and gave it to her and said, I am so sorry, I apologize. She gave me a hug that I have never felt before. She gave me a hug out of fear, saying thank you, thank you, because she felt like I was protecting her from a monster. What do you do in that situation as I'm walking her out of the room, making sure you don't get to her while you're still naked with a condom hanging off? You look at me and you say, you're a bitch, you're a p you must be gay, and that's why you don't like girls. You violated me in front of nobody but ourselves, and that's how you know it's low. I walk her outside, she gives me a hug again, she leaves. Now, Vitaly, I'm gonna tell you something I've never told you ever in my life. You go into your room later on after I went in there and you continued to cuss me out. I went on your camera and I deleted that footage, and you never, ever, ever knew. The next day, and I have the clip in my vlog, I talk about it, and this is what I say. What up, everybody, and welcome to day number two in Brazil. I'm currently here with we just made up because last night he did some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, but he apologized to me. Vitaly's response was to go full scorched earth on their friendship. If Fusi wanted to bring up his personal life, then he was going to share with the entire world what they did to potentially even tackle Fusi's career and try to debunk the character he played on camera. And uh, he did this in a uh, interview on Drama Alert as well. Vitaly, what Fusi Tube is saying, he's saying that, you know, there was this in Brazil and that, yeah. you know, you were uh, trying to put it in her butt, you know, and she didn't want that and she was scared for her life trying to get away. Is this true? Is any of this true? Absolutely false allegations, uh, Kim Star. Did I get uh, escorts in Brazil? Absolutely. Did Fusi get them with me? Absolutely. Different times? Yes. It's a 365 days of Fusi now. Before it used to be 365 days of hookers. Fusi has an Fusi has to be ha had an addiction and it's not an addiction it's something in your control i've never met a person that's addicted to hookers they used to be brag around when they would come to him first of all in brazil when i met those girls we we're in the club so we got time to chat till five o'clock in the morning i asked them to go home with me and they said sure yes pussy goes on back page and craigslist and invites these girls and opens the door in the towels okay okay yeah. quick question quick question Kim, just Kim, so we can Kim, be Kim, Kim. Just so we I can think, be on the uh, same page, yeah, Fousey go... Tube, real, real quick, let me ask Fousey Tube a question. Fousey, have you ever had an escort, a, a hooker, a prostitute? No, and as Never in your what? life. Yo, what, what, what? You can't even Yo, understand that. Hey, there's, what? Hey, I am mind blowing. Okay, 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 I'm Vitaly, let him, Vitaly, let him respond. And first of all, I'd rather fake pranks than fake my religion, okay, and seem like a good Muslim that you are, that you're not. You're just a pure devil inside. You lied your whole career. You abused hookers, drugs, and alcohol, and you won't come out and say. Stop this bogus fairy tale bullshit and be a man that you are. You were born in the wrong body. You're a doll. You're a girl. You have Botox, and I can't wait to see you in the boxing ring to make your living mean. That's all yeah. I have to say. It looks like That's we're just going say. in circles here. So the bad blood that had been brewing between the two came from a lot of personal differences rather than like a real outrage. According to him, he also basically lost everything back then. He lost all his income. He lost his sponsors. He really lost everything. And now in the modern age, when he's been trying to post videos consistently to YouTube, it hasn't really been succeeding for him. He said on a podcast it was due to his channel being in bad standing because he's had so many strikes and, you know, demonetizations and such. He thinks that he's basically getting shadow banned in the algorithm a little bit. I don't know if that's true. It definitely could be true. I, I don't think that YouTube uh, as a platform really likes the super controversial pranksters. In the same way, they don't like the really mean commentary channels from back in the day. YouTube was just 
too raunchy and advertisers kind of got scared away so they want to avoid anything like that so I mean it's it's possible they're shadow banning him or at the very least they're just not promoting his content because you know they don't want that kind of stuff to blow up and become a problem for them in terms of advertisers you got to hit the algorithm I still haven't figured it out I think I did but it's YouTube is actually my channel is so hurt mm -hmm. so many band-aids on it with so many violations that is just not pushing through because I know some of the latest videos that I just uploaded it there should have been at least at least a million views yep. and because his youtube videos weren't succeeding we're now seeing him try irl apparently he's in a tough spot financially which is why he's streaming so much he said that he sleeps in his g-wagon doesn't have a house or an apartment and he can't afford payments on the g-wagon as well so he's really at the end of his rope and streaming is his uh get rich quick scheme to get to the top i guess and get out of the pit he's dug himself into guys we've been talking about live streaming for six game months and dream came out here on his own expense because he knows that he's broke he came out here and he's literally doing this for me for free and he's staying with his one of his friends, not even me. I don't have a place. I've been living in my G-Wagon sleeping that I haven't paid for I don't know how long. So that's life. I mean, don't do drugs, but sober gang, sober life is good. And not hopefully, when I'm on top again, I won't sh take sh for granted. I want, you know, I thought I could take a year. Oh, I'm the king. Take a year off, come back. Now I know how social media works. We're not taking time off. <laughs> now, I will say, if he wants to do this outrageous content, uh, he definitely will get some clicks from, you know, commentary channels like me, making videos about it, and then people go over to kick, they search up Vitaly, they find his stuff, they watch it, they laugh at it or whatever. Uh, maybe they laugh with it, maybe they just call him a cringe lord. you know, whatever the case. He will get some short-term clicks that way, but um, if he actually wants to make money, he needs to develop a fan base, um, and for that, he needs to have heart, he needs to be relatable, he needs to be interesting, and whenever you think about FouseyTube and how crazy he is, I don't think everyone watching him was watching because they just thought he was a nut job. I think some people genuinely liked him and were a part of like his fan base. And so I think that if Vitaly wants to be famous, he needs to develop uh, some heart. He needs to have some character. He needs to develop a reason for people to stick around and have a real personality and have something to say, whether it's real or, or fake. He needs to seem real to the audience. Um, I think long-term, this kind of outrage bait stuff that he's doing is only gonna, you know, get a, a very small amount of viewers. And then he's gonna have to do increasingly crazy things to even maintain any level of viewership. But if he wants to have long-term success, he needs to actually provide some, you know, meaningful content that people can get behind, really. Guess what, guys? Before, I think, how many days we got left in the month? We got like 20 days, somewhere around, whatever, it doesn't matter, yeah. Number one on stream before 2024, pushing it, but if you set big goals in life, you can achieve them. So, it's kind of cool to hang out with people like this. The chat's actually with me, and I appreciate W Chat for life. That's our apparel, W Chat. Honestly, I think if he wants to succeed, he needs to stop talking about how he has no money and just make as much content and as good, uh, you know, content as, as he possibly can. Because people don't like to donate to someone who just e-bags and is just desperate. They don't like to feel like they have to donate. They like to donate to people who make the best content possible. So just do that and you'll be fine. Not sure if the content he's making right now is really going to get him to the top of the IRL streaming world, but I think given some time, he could get back there a little bit. Fousey did it. Why couldn't Vitaly? It feels like a lot of old internet figures are coming back recently trying to make waves as much as possible. For for FouseyTube and Vitaly, it's because they were broke and desperate for attention, but they are making the internet far more interesting than it's been for years, honestly, so I can't complain too, too much, um, even if some of the stuff they're doing is questionable to say the least let's just hope let's pray to god that he doesn't uh do shrooms again and beat up a random jogger because beating up random innocent people is uh bad you guys may not know that i may just be breaking this news to you guys but it's bad to beat up innocent people or is it in Minecraft? If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. If you did not like the video, leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about the video. Hopefully you liked it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Get the f*** out of here. Hey, the video's over. Leave. I lied. It's not over. Now it's just me and you. Bye. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No